Hey, do you want to dive into the deep end of the pool when it comes to your HubSpot education? We're going to talk to you about one place you can go other than Sprocket Talk to get all your questions answered. Hey, let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. That's right. My name is George B. Thomas from Impulse Creative, bringing you yet another Sprocket Talk educational video. Hey, if you like what you're learning, then go ahead and check the descriptions out below because we help people just like you fix everything from your marketing to your sales to your website and more. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and make sure you hit that like, hit the subscribe and hit that bell for those instant notifications. I want to talk to you today about the HubSpot knowledge base and all all the articles that's possible now there are thousands and thousands of articles when you take into account the actual language variations but there's like 2,000 some if you're just gonna drill it down to like the language that you use and of course that's probably what you're gonna do because you're gonna use your language anyway I digress let's go ahead and jump into the knowledge base I'm gonna tell you all the things that you need to know you're gonna see the things that you can check out and it's gonna be helpful along the way let's go ahead and dive in so as you can see we're in the HubSpot knowledge base and we're gonna start up top here first of all in HubSpot in the knowledge base everywhere that you see a search bar you should use the search functionality so we do have that there now the funny part about this is we've got search the knowledge base here and we've got search the knowledge base here obviously HubSpot wants us to search the knowledge base one thing too if you're searching the knowledge base and you need to get back to your HubSpot hub you can go right back to your account right here in the top right hand corner and of course if you don't have HubSpot and you're watching this well hey you can go get HubSpot free right now now after that we're gonna see that we have the help center we have documentation which is really about the knowledge base itself any API documentations that you need for HubSpot as well as the content management system or CMS documentation that you need if you're using the HubSpot websites feature. Also, we're going to have training that's possible here community which if you're not diving into community you should definitely do that get your badges get your learn on and then of course there's additional blogs but I want to back up and I do actually want to talk about the help center because the help center is where you can easily go again being able to search but then dive into the HubSpot community get back to the knowledge base where we're at right now look into HubSpot Academy developer documentation customer blog solution partners there's just so much here in this help section and then at the bottom notice here is if you need support and you have free well you can use the community however if you have starter you can use the community email and chat if you've got professional you can use all four as well as enterprise and let me just tell you that that phone support that phone support is amazing and my second favorite other than phone support would actually be the chat feature I love the chat feature but moving on let's go ahead and go back to the knowledge base and here's the thing there is a new piece of the knowledge base that is guides new to HubSpot use these guides I would suggest even if you're not new to HubSpot that you would check out these guides because anytime HubSpot releases something there's usually a reason and we'll probably do a deep dive on each one of these guides as we move forward but notice there's a HubSpot glossary set up your account manage your CRM database market your business generate sales support for your customers build your website join the community Woo! there's a lot of guides there once we get past those guides you're gonna see highest rated articles really the questions that HubSpot users have most when they're getting started or just have most in general and then I really love this section down here where we can go into account and setup. We can go into the CRM, the marketing tools, the service tools, the sales tools. HubSpot has done a great job of breaking this up into sections that you need to dive into. And once you actually dive in, it's super useful. So if we dive into the CRM in this case, notice on the left hand side, it opens up to under CRM, there's activity feed, there's companies, there's contacts, there's CRM setup, there's deals, there's test, all the things that you need as far as the CRM. And you can collapse this and go ahead and go into another section that maps out to that home page of the knowledge articles but then check this out activity feed top articles companies top articles contacts top articles listen let me just say this 
quit spinning your wheels. Like when you're in HubSpot and you're trying to figure something out and it's taking you more than 15 minutes, you should apply the brakes, either head over to Sprocket Talk and search and see if we've done a tutorial on it or head over to the knowledge base and see if it's one of the top articles in one of these subsections of the knowledge base. This really is the deep end of the pool. Again, there are over 2000 knowledge articles that will help you with your HubSpot educational needs. So make sure you dive into this sidebar, make sure you're looking into the things that you need, make sure you're checking out the guides that they released, all the goodness that is the HubSpot knowledge base. Now, in the future, we will definitely be doing deeper dives on the guides. We'll do deeper dives on the actual community area that you should be getting involved in. Listen, you know us, we love to do deep dives. This is it for the knowledge base, but remember, until we meet in the next video, make sure you hit that bell, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that subscribe along the way. You know you want those instant notifications. But also remember to be a happy, helpful, humble human, and of course, do some happy hub spotting along the way.